Hey, I'm Dan Wilson, and I help businesses grow. I made a spreadsheet with 100 prompts to guide your thoughts and plans so you can get them in one place using a Three Horizon system and move your business forward. You can find the spreadsheet and a link in the description below. Let's quickly go over the system. Horizon one is what you think will happen. This is usually about one to three weeks out. Horizon two is what you want to happen, and it's maybe one to three months out. Uncertainty, probability, and external dependencies creep in here. Horizon three is visionary. It's one to three years out, depending on what kind of business that you're in and the stage of your company. Now that you understand the three horizons, let's open up the spreadsheet and click on the snapshot tab. On the snapshot tab, you'll see a breakdown of all of your tasks and the horizon that they're in. Quick hits are high priority, low complexity tasks. Heavy lifts are high priority, high complexity tasks, and defers are low priority, high complexity tasks. Let's explain the spreadsheet columns. Prompt. These are here to prevent the dreaded blinking cursor problem. I've added 100 prompts spread over the Horizon 2 and Horizon 3 tabs to help get your ideas flowing quickly. Task. This is the thing that needs doing, and it should be an appropriate size for the horizon that you're in. Maybe it's a project. Maybe it's an initiative. Go ahead and document it, and don't get too granular here. This is not a substitute for your task tracker. We'll go through later and fill out detail on the items that we're actually going to work on. Blocker. The reason that this task is pending and not yet done. This could be an external dependency. Maybe you're waiting on a market event. Go ahead and describe these pretty well here. We'll use this information later to figure out how to prioritize our working items. Priority. Low, medium, high. This field is a drop down, so just type the first letter and hit tab. Good to go. Most leaders I've worked with have a hard time assigning lower priority to tasks that they've already put work into. But you'll want to be harshly focused for the priority of this task within the horizon that you're working on. Complexity, also low, medium, high. Low priority tasks are well defined, have resources you control, and limited external dependencies. The opposite is true for high complexity tasks. This column also uses drop downs. Often Horizon 3 is about one to three years out. You'll craft your vision for the company, set strategy, figure out which products and services you want to release upon the market, and what is the ideal path to bring loads of your customers to your front door. Funding, company growth, sustainability, these topics usually go here. It can be tempting to spend a lot of time in Horizon 3 because there's no constraints. We can imagine whatever we want. But like that great American philosopher Yogi Berra once said, if you don't know where you're going, you're probably not going to get there. So go ahead and document your Horizon 3, and let's use that to inform our Horizon 2 and Horizon 1. Your Horizon 3 evolves as you finish Horizon 1 and Horizon 2 tasks. Now click on the Horizon 2 tab. There are 45 prompts here spread over the functional areas to get your ideas flowing. You may wish to add more prompts here that fit your business better. In Horizon 2, the closer it is, the clearer it is, but there are uncertainties. Horizon 2 usually ranges between one to three months out, depending on your business and product stage and company size. As Horizon 2 tasks progress, they turn into Horizon 1 tasks. Horizon 2 tasks have more external dependencies, use resources you don't fully control, and there's a probabilistic element here. An example would be that contract that's stuck at 99% completion, but you're waiting on the other company's legal team to sign, and they're all away at summer vacation. Sometimes Horizon 2 tasks can get lost in the circus of fires you have in your Horizon 1. So be sure to keep the plate spinning on your Horizon 2 tasks. Click on the Horizon 1 tab. This has all of the functional areas and leaves you plenty of space to add your own prompts. Horizon 1 tasks are well-defined with few external dependencies. They're the kind of thing that can fill up your workday. This list will be custom to you depending on what you have going on at the time. List what makes sense, especially what cascaded down from Horizon 3 to Horizon 2, but keep the information light here. This doesn't replace your task tracker. It'll inform your task tracker. Sometimes leaders can feel like duct tape that's been rolled around on a dirty office floor, collecting all kind of manner of things they didn't really want. We don't want to be like that here. And if you have items that no longer seem like they fit in your Horizon 1, get rid of them. 
We want to work on the most high priority items to bump your business to the next level. Once you complete a line, the spreadsheet will calculate quick hits, heavy lifts, and defers, and then update the scorecard. When done, check the scorecard, make sure you have a balance in your scoring. We don't want all high priority tasks here. Aim for a balance. I often recommend clients spend a good burst of energy documenting Horizon 3 and then revisiting every three to six months. Remember, success is non-linear. If you like this idea, please leave me a comment below and tell me what kind of business you're building. I read every comment and use the information to know which videos I can make next. Happy building!